Hey there, Sam. Currently, we are returning custom JSON response for each controller method. It is not very consistent, and as our app grows larger and larger, it will go out of control very quickly. It will become very hard to maintain, especially when we want to refactor our code or add a new field to every one of our JSON response. For example, a meta field that consists of the metadata of the response. And now the question is, is there a better way to do this rather than using a custom JSON response? And the answer is, of course, yes. And it is something called resource class. Let's create a resource class for our post model. To do that, we'll go to our terminal and type in php artisan make resource and provide our resource class name after it. I'll call it post resource. And now in our HTTP folder, we notice that Laravel has created a new folder called resources. And inside it, we have our post resource file. Let's open it. And it turns out to be just a simple PHP class that extends the JSON resource base class. There's only one method in this class, the toArray method. Whatever we return in this method will become whatever is inside the JSON response received by the client. So in our case here, we are writing a resource class for post. So we'll return an array with the post fields in it. The resource class has access to all the model attributes. So to get the ID of the model, we can just use this keyword and get the ID magic property. And we'll do the same for the title and the body attributes. And if you're wondering, how does this class magically retrieve our model attributes? Here's the answer. We'll need to dive in into the JSON resource base class and the delegates to resource trait and scroll down until we see the get magic method. So as you can see here, this method overrides the default behavior of PHP and attempt to grab the property specified by the user from the resource property. And if you want to know what is this resource property, we'll need to go back to the JSON resource class, scroll down, and we can see that the resource property is set within the constructor. So that means at the time when we instantiate the resource class, we'll need to pass in our model record in order for it to work. Let's try this out. We'll go back to our post controller and in a show method, instead of returning the custom JSON response, I'll make it return our post resource and pass in our post model in the constructor and also fix our documentation so our IDE will stop complaining. Let's test our code. We'll go to Postman and try to view post number one. And it works. We're missing the created add and updated add fields, so let's add them in inside the resource class as well. Let's try again. And it works. Now let's go back to our post controller. In our index method, we're returning an array of posts. That means we can no longer return just an instance of the post resource. Instead, we need to return a collection of the post resource. To do that, we need to call the collection method from our post resource class and pass in our post collections in it. We'll fix the documentation again to stop our IDE from complaining. Okay, let's test our code. We'll go to Postman and send a get request to the index method. And as you can see in the response, we have all of our posts. So far, so good. Next, we'll just refactor the remaining of our controller to use our post resource. Okay, that's it. We still need to create a resource class for comments and users. I'll leave it as an exercise for you. Again, the solution will be in a repository of this project. The link is in the description. Resource class can be very handy when we want to change the details in our JSON response. All we need to do is to go to our model resource and change the return statement of the toArray method. Without the resource class, we probably need to go through a million lines of code and refactor the controller method one by one. So try to make good use of the resource class and you'll thank yourself in the long run. Key takeaway for this lesson, resource class helps us to manage our API JSON response in one place. It makes our API response to be more consistent and maintainable in the long run. We can use the PHP artisan make resource command to generate the resource boilerplate. That's it for this lesson and I'll see you again in the next video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for your support.